Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the bald explorer, and this lovely creature is... Julia. The lovely Julia. And we are in... Glastonbury. Okay. I had to really think about that. Yeah. But we are... Look, there's a clue behind yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> well, I do know. But that, more specifically, we are on Paradise Lane. Oh, we are on Paradise Lane. Nee, yeah. Nee, nee. You know something I don't know. And the reason we know that is because a very nice gentleman whose car is parked just down there has given us a lift. But we... We've... Yeah, we only asked him for directions. But yeah. we've asked several people for directions to Gog and Magog. And they all kind of look at us like... Um... You might want to go and ask someone in this town. <laughs> yeah. Some, go and ask someone else. <laughs> so uh, we better answer at what Gog and Magog is in Glastonbury. Gog and Magog are two ancient oaks. They are um, what remains of an avenue of trees that the Druids used to walk along to um, enter the Tor. And there's only two left, but one had a bit of a mishap. Yeah, I mean, it was, mo it was pretty much dead anyway, but People do insist on leaving lit candles on trees. So yes, it got burnt. Oh dear. Um, the the um, fire brigade, and well, they managed to get there. I'm not sure how, but they managed to get there in time to stop it spreading too far to Magog. So it was Gog that um, caught fire. That was caught fire. So Magog is still there. And then and you did say, did you, that they're named after Greek? They're named after Hebrew. Hebrew. Hebrew, Hebrew gods. Hebrew. Yeah. Right, so we've, we've been given these um, directions. We've been dropped here, given these directions. Yeah, and hopefully we haven't just been, you know, dumped well and truly outside of Glastonbury and don't you ever darken our door he, again. He seemed like a very nice soul. He I did, yeah. No. I don't think at all. So um, we're going down this lane, which you can see here, Paradise Lane. Yes. Um, which actually he said was one of the nicest lanes. So, yeah. Um, it's, it's very nice and green anyway. It certainly is. And uh, so we've got to cross a couple of fields and then we should get there. And it's sort of west, uh, never e east, sorry, just working out my <laughs> compass mm -hmm. points, uh, east of the main tour. Oh, look, there's some, some sheeps in there. And uh, of course, we are sort of on the hill that um, the tour is the peak of the hill or the summit, and then the the, if I look above this hedge here, look, you'll see, there it is, the tower on top of the tour. So the tour's the hill and the tower is, well, it's an edifice, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and we've made a video about that because we've actually visited that one already. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. Check it out. Check it out. So here's our first, here's first field, I suppose. Or is it beginning of the lane? I'm not quite sure. Knock something off that branch. Not oh, sure it was. I'll let you do the I'll thank do you very them. much. Oh, there we go. And look, we do get some nice views though, ladies and gentlemen. Look at those, staggering, eh? Gorgeous. Yeah. And, and bits of sun are coming out now. If I just come over here, bits of sun are coming out. Whereas before, oh golly, today's been a bit of a miserable day. Oh, there's a great big cow ahead, and uh, I, you can't see it from here. There's the two of them over Yay. the over that hedge, over that hedge, and far away far on the. Away. I'm not good on cows. Um, you know, right. I keep falling off. That's the thing. <laughs> they don't like it. I mount them in the wrong direction. But uh, anyway, enough of my personal habits. So um, it's all right. You'll be safe. You're with me. Yes. So we like trees, and we've been visiting lots of trees recently, as you may have noticed if you're a regular follower. I wonder why. Um, yeah. Wonder why there's a bit of a tree hugging ceremony going on. Well, we're going to do some tree hugging with these. These aren't yew trees, as you said. They're they're, they're oaks. oak trees. But um, what do you get? This isn't a joke. <laughs> I start off. What do you get when you cross a? No. What do you get from hugging trees? What I mean, for what you, do you personally. Get from any hug. Well, I know. I'm just you know people. I'm just thinking that some people might go. That's a bit odd, isn't it, when you hug trees? But it's not. Well, you kind of exchange. It's exactly the same as any other hug, might not. I know, big poo. Um, <laughs> exactly the same as any other hug. You're exchanging energies. Right. You know, I find I find it centres and balances myself. Right. It puts me in perspective as well. I mean, they are an entirely alien kind of species, really, aren't they? There's a big tree here with a love heart yeah. on it. Look. Beautiful. And this is an oak. And here we are. There's a bit of tree hugging going on. Oh. <laughs> Try again. 
I think it disturbs a, a nest of something. Vipers. Yeah. A nest uh, of vipers. And there, I don't know if you can see that, there's a little heart just above your head. But a beautiful, a beautiful tree. So we're going to, in our quest, we're going to look for these trees. We've got this, this is a beautiful lane actually, because the views again are rather spl splendid. Yeah. And look at the way that um, the valley just dips down beyond this little hawthorn um, or whatever. Oh, I can smell the cows now. Can you smell them? Yeah. Yeah, rather. I can't see them. They're up there somewhere. Anyway, let's press on. We're now going through the field that um, the gentleman told us about um, and we're sort of heading downhill away from the tour. We actually have the tour directly behind us although you can't see us. But on our left is a series of oak trees. There was one ash wasn't there but yeah. these are all oak trees which I'm beginning to think from the directions that uh, he gave us to where Gog and Magog is that this avenue that was once here this avenue of trees that led up to the tour mm. must have been where we're walking now. Pretty much. I mean, or because there are oak trees already here. I mean, they, they're obviously not the, the not ancient, not as old, say. but they may well have seed self seeded in positions that the other oaks were in. Mm. But you know, that speculation. Oh, there's a, oh, wait a minute. I think we've got to go a bit over this way. Kissing gate or something. The style. Yeah, we've got to get on the style. Oh, oh, right. Uh, actually, oh. what I just said may be complete rubbish because um, the style is sort of in front. I did see it a few seconds ago yeah, it, and it goes yeah. down. Oh, there, there it is. And then I think the pathway up actually still looks like a pathway up. Here, I don't know if yeah. you can see, there's a bit of a furrow. I'll just turn the camera around and look up the hill. There's a sort of furrow there. That's clearly a pathway. And these pathways are ancient, so maybe it led up there towards those trees and then up to the, the tour. Anyway, here's our gate. Oops, it's a bit churned up on the ground here because of the um, cattle, cattle and um, mud. mud. Can we? Oh, I'll come in with you. <laughs> there's, there's space for two. I'm only little, you know. Oh, I realise that. That looks like a birch we're just going under. And uh, right, so there's the path down to the next stile, and he said the more or less on. Oh, wait a minute, I can see him. That must be them down there. So that's Gog right there. Gog. The one I could see, so, see, make out a burnt out oak. That, that must be Magog right next to it. It doesn't quite look, I don't know, it's partially covered. It looks magnificent even in its current state. Yeah, gog. it does look like it's got one arm up as if it's making a, a gesture uh, of last some description. final plea. Yes. Guys, look or, after the world. Or <laughs> casting a spell or something. Yeah. On our left, uh, sorry, on our right, you've got another of these aisles in the um, in the levels here, but um, I don't know which one that is. But again, it, it would have poked out above the water that was once here, going back a few thousand years before the land was drained. Um, but I don't know what hill that one is. One of them is Wirial Hill. Yeah, Wirial. And we want to find that uh, also tomorrow. Yeah. So we've got the Abbey to go to and Wirial Hill because there's Bride's Mound, which is another place, a spiritual place. And, and originally on Bride's Mound, apparently, um, excavations found the old monastery, which was older than the Abbey here oh, at wow. Glastonbury. Um, burial remains of figures were found and their DNA tested. I did read up about that one and um, they reckoned it's 5th century whereas Glastonbury Abbey is 7th century so uh -huh. it's actually 200 years older. Anyway we're, cl we're getting close to Gog and Magog so we'll, oh, we'll concentrate wow. on that. Wow. Oh yeah so that must be so Gog on the right. That's Gog on the left. Oh sorry Magog. 
dog on the left and I've got yes there yes it's, <laughs> see I couldn't really see it from back there no because, because there was another one in front a of younger it. one in front I was like that yeah. can't be my dog really it can't but yes no there it is but they're both quite stunted aren't they yes well they are, they're pretty old I mean oaks don't live as long as ewes ewes no so I mean where ewes can live to you know several thousand years and more um I mean, the oaks only a couple um, hundreds of years right that's right about five six hundred years i think yeah. um, i'll let you go over the stile first and i shall follow you she leaps over there like a fair oh i've lost my footing no i'm all right <laughs> implying i i can't no, leap I'm too just gonna take them oh so, <laughs> so that you could yes. balance yourself yeah i know sorry Sorry, they we're down Stone Down Lane and now Maidencroft Lane. I'm looking at the signpost behind you, just so I... Um, oh, there's a pollarded wow. tree. That looks like an ash. That's an ash tree. Oh, that's, that's a pollarded ash. Look at that. But ahead of us, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like Medusa. <laughs> yeah. Look at... Snakes coming out their head. <laughs> yeah, it does look like Medusa, doesn't it? It does. But Pretty. behind you now or in front of you depending on how you want to play it the excitement Here mounts is magog magog these are the two ancient be um oak trees There's lots of offerings attached including, I don't know if you can see them there, That's just the tiny little stones. Oh yeah, and tiny so little stones there. Little edge. We've got ribbons, we've got yeah. what looks like tassels there. Yeah. And then we can go right into the, into the tree here, into the hollow of the tree, more or less. And if I pan up, we can get right the way through the tree to the top of this incredibly remarkable and ancient tree and it's nice that it's actually protected from people yes yes somewhat and it's, it's it's still alive magog and as you can see it's it's it's, it's got buds it's opening up you know starting up some leaves but oh wow uh, i've never seen an oak in such magnificence yeah oh. And of course it's a home to all sorts of um, micro-organisms mm, mm. um, and of course birds and who else, what else would be living in there? You don't usually think of oaks as, as ones that will hollow like a yew, and yet look at it. Look at it, yeah. Yeah, I know. Shall we have a look at um, yes, let's Gog? Yes, have a look at Gog. Gog is... Uh, this, as you say, it died naturally and then someone tried yeah. to set fire to it, which is a bit of a well, shame. I don't think they tried to, but they, they were careless. Care oh, right. Uh, it's been closed off, obviously, because... Uh, I'm not sure... But you can see, just, I think you can see, if I poke the camera there, you can see that someone had a fire inside and obviously part of it caught. No, it was just a candle. That's all it took. Oh right, I mean it's quite a content. Uh, well, extensive... I say that, I don't know, I wasn't there. Um, but of course, you can't burn trees, not British trees. Pr British trees don't actually catch fire, you can't burn them. Um, but if it was dead, and it's dead wood, of course that's slightly different. I guess what's interesting then is, if we stand here, between the two trees, so we've got Gog, we've got Gog that side, Magog on your left, and then in front of us, we can't see it, but you'd have the tour uh, and the tower, which would have been up there in front and over that hill and then up, up a bit more. But basically, this is where, at one point, was an avenue of other oak trees. Yeah. I'm glad we made the effort to come and see them because they are remarkable. I know you probably want to go and have a quiet chat or a hug with them. As, in a few minutes. Yeah. So in the meantime, join us on one of our other walks and we'll, we'll, we'll see you then, won't we? Yeah. Yeah. Till then, toodles. Toodle bit. Bye. I know they are magnificent.